Aha! Now I can get my own Sparker card. I found your fake cards. Now let me see what you made me look like. Like the prince you are. Here's your Sparker card. Check it out. Come back here later. If you want to meet the people that liked your Sparker profile. For winter. Fucked up day. You have anything to drink? Not a problem. I could use a drink myself. What is this? Aiden! Maris, what's going on? It's Scott. He's gone missing again. I've been everywhere, asked everyone, but no one's seen him. What about Mo? Is he gone too? No, he's at home, safe and sound. What does he know about Scott's whereabouts? Nothing. And that worries me. They usually get into trouble together. If you want, I can look for your son. Oh, thank you, Aiden. You're a godsend. Uh, tell me about Scott's disappearance. He left in the afternoon without Mo. And never came back. He was gone overnight. Even more strange. Some men came around that evening looking for him. And what did they want? 
wouldn't say, so I chased him off. But later I saw Rude, Rude Weghorst, talking to him. I got a bad feeling. He's hunted in for my boy lately. Maybe he has something to do with this. See, Scott's got a huge crush on Rude's daughter, and Rude's not having it. Started treating my boy like trash. Well, could Scott have run off with the girl? It's possible. He's completely head over heels for her. Lush should be at the bazaar. I was on my way back to look, but I ran into you. These men, any idea who they were? They said they were after someone without a biomarker. That couldn't be Scott, of course. They're not from the bazaar, that's for sure. And not the kind of people we like here. Then I'll talk to Rude. You go home and keep an eye on Mo. This is the last time. I gotta find other ways for the boys to learn a lesson. said all sorts of things about you at first, but after what you did, tell me, how do you like it here at the bazaar? I'm slowly getting used to it. You can do a lot here as long as you keep the right company. And I know everyone here. Scott Gunter. Know him? Too well, unfortunately. I'm looking for him. For Neris. Did you know that he didn't come home last night? Well, if Neris had raised him properly, maybe he would have. Look, if you don't want to help him, then at least help me. Fine, I'll help you. What do you want to know? Some men came looking for Scott yesterday, and from what I hear, you talked to them. Yeah, they were recruiters or something. The recruiters? What do you mean? They were looking for able-bodied young men, so I referred them to Scott. How about your daughter? Would she know where Scott could be? Lust doesn't know anything. Did you ask her, or are you just saying that? My daughter has wasted enough time on that little shit. I want to talk to Lus. We owe you for the water, but damn it, I don't want you bothering my daughter. What if something has happened to Scott? No, out of the question. Go away before- You guys talking about Scotty? W what's wrong? Has something happened to him? He's gone missing. When did you last see him? Um... Yesterday afternoon, said he was going to prove himself. Prove himself? He can be a romantic. Romantic? I love you, Lus. But you gotta stop falling for that moron shit. God, Scott might be in serious trouble. Oh my god. Calm down, Lus. I'm sure he'll turn up. Did Scott say where he was going? Let's see. He did mention Crocodile Flats. It's a neighborhood west of Houndfield. Said he knew of some treasure there in an abandoned building. Please, you gotta find him. I'll do my best. Dad? What's happening? Did you know about this? Just go back home. Hey, have you seen a kid named Scott? <laughs> Nurse's brat. Like I told her. No. He's gone missing. Yeah, well, I'm just a gate guard, not a babysitter. If you see him, tell Nurse. 
Don't tell me what to do. You seen anything suspicious? Look, my duty is to keep the bazaar safe from infected. They don't pay me to keep tabs on every single person that comes in and out of here. If they got a biomarker, that's all I need to know. What do you want, man? It's just past eight, March the 6th, 2024. What do you need, buddy? And you're listening to Villador News. I'm Clarissa Mortimer. Come back from time to time. Tragic news from the old Villador this evening. At noon today, skirmishes between civilian populations and the army escalated dramatically when soldiers opened fire on protesters just by the World Art Congress monument on Mill Street. 55 people were killed. Eleven are in critical state at the St. Joseph Hospital. At 3.30 this afternoon, General Pratt declared martial law in response to the tragedy. We've received numerous reports from frightened citizens of soldiers going door to door. The military advises citizens to remain calm as they collect privately owned firearms, now banned in the martial law declaration. Riots have begun in immigrant camps across the city, and its border has been locked down. This will no doubt shift power to the military within the Council of Mankind and result in a decline of the GRE's influence. As such, actions are often followed by a suppression of the free press. We, here at Villador News, are closely monitoring the situation. With tensions continuing to rise, we will remain on the air late into the night. Yeah! <laughs> 
Seems like Scott was well prepared. Someone tried to force this lock, but he couldn't and didn't get in. Hmm. Looks like Scott just dropped everything and ran. He turned left here. He was in quite a hurry. Make two guys chasing him. They caught you. You didn't give up that easily, did you, Scott? Oh, shit. It got brutal. They were dragging him. He must have been unconscious. He turned left here. I just hope he's alive. They drag him to that building. All right, so he must be inside. Need to find a way inside. Who knows? 
Maybe I'm the guy you're looking for. It's you! You saved me! Hi, Scott. Been looking for you. Do you know those men? Only heard of them. They're renegades. The renegades? Yeah. Never seen them at the bazaar before, either. We hoped they'd leave the bazaar alone, since we're dirt poor as it is. They said what they want? No clue. I was on my way to Crocodile Flats when they started chasing me. And then they grabbed me and brought me here. You sure got a knack for trouble, Scott. Maybe if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't get myself in trouble so much. So this is my fault? What'd I do to piss you off this time? I'm not pissed, just frustrated. Your little hero act, well, it ruined everything for me. And I had a good thing going. So, the bazaar getting water somehow ruined your life. Do tell. Don't get me wrong. Everyone is doing so much better. Everyone but me. See, before this, the one thing I could get was water. Enough to share, so... I shared with Lus's family. And Rude seemed okay with me then. But once everyone had water, suddenly I wasn't so special anymore. Worse, Rude said I wasn't good enough for his daughter. But I love Lus. So you decided to commit suicide? What are you talking about? Now, from what I've been told, you'll get yourself killed in Crocodile Flats. I had to go. Rude thinks I'm a loser. I have to show him how wrong he is. I'll do anything to prove myself to both of them. So that's what this mission is all about. Rude said he'd give me one chance with Lus. Told me about a necklace some rich aunt of his owned. Worth a bundle. Said it was probably still in her apartment. Ah, so Rude sent you to Crocodile Flats. Sorta. He told me if I could get the necklace, maybe I'd prove myself worthy of his daughter. Worthy enough to marry. So, I have to get it, you know? To be with Lus. Crocodile Flats is a dangerous place. I'd be above your pay grade. I don't care. I love Lus. And I'll do whatever it takes to be with her. Look, let me get the necklace for you. Just tell me where it is. When you have it, you can just tell Rude you found it. Mm, I don't like it, but I suppose you're right. If Rude wasn't lying, she lived in flat 21 on the top floor. Yeah, that should be easy enough to locate. Uh, nowhere to find it inside the apartment? Not exactly, though it's not a big place. All right, that's plenty to go on. Now go back home. Let your mother know you're okay. And wait for me to get back with the necklace. Maybe I get why people like you after all. Thanks, Aiden. And here, take these. You could maybe use them to distract the biters, you know? Hello, Alice. I'm not sure if you know, but you've been in some woman's belly for a month now. Some woman's? <laughs> Why, you? Fine. <laughs> you should be resting, Mommy, because you shouldn't be getting so worked up in your condition. Come on, you have to take this seriously. <laughs> okay, seriously. Alice, I'm talking to you from the year 2021. <clears throat> your birth is five months away. Now, we wanted to record this memento for you, so you'll have something to look back on. And let me tell you, we're looking forward to meeting you. You know, 
We've been trying for a couple of years. You know, uh, there were complications. And as a policeman, I worked very long hours. When we found out we had finally been blessed, better stop for now. Frog in my throat. Better not tell your mom. Since she got pregnant, she's had a hankering to eat strange things. What's that, hon?
This necklace looks like costume jewelry, not an expensive necklace. this doesn't look like a necklace of any value that's for sure This necklace looks expensive. I bet the dead woman wearing it was going to be
They took all the equipment. You couldn't have screwed it up more than you did. Scott home safely. Can I talk to him? Sure, of course. Scott? Aiden, you made it. Do you uh, have the necklace I gave you? What? What are you talking about, Scott? Yes, uh, here's the necklace you got from that apartment. I looked into it like you asked. You were right. It's worth quite a lot. See, Rude? I got the necklace. Now you have to give me less. No, this can't be. How did you- I did what you asked. Lust belongs to me now. Belongs? I what now? We could finally be together. Wait, you nearly got yourself killed, scaring your mother and me half to death just to win me like a carnival prize from my father? So I could belong to you? No, this was all for you. Really, you should have seen me out there. It's true. He was brave. Heroic, even. I just... I mean, I, I don't even recognize you anymore. Luz! Wait, Luz! Th 
This was for you. All for you. Just tell your boy to keep away from my daughter. Huh. <laughs> With pleasure. Well, drama aside, at least Scott made it home in one piece. Thanks to you. Take this. No. Uh, you think they'll be okay? Scott and Lus? Who knows? I love my boy, but you know, he's a bit of a handful. And at that age, whew. You should start a detective agency. You're pretty good at this. Sweet weapon you got there, Aiden. Is it new? <laughs> 